Guru is a young cow between the ages of 12 to 14 years old in the combined Uhap West herd of desert adapted elephants in Namibia. She is part of a sub herd together with her mother Doris, sister Cynthia, and another young cow, Doreen. Like family, they are mostly seen in close range of each other. Guru's pregnancy was clear, and everybody with a real interest was eagerly waiting for her baby to arrive, especially because we have already lost four babies the past two years here in the Uha. Sadly, only one baby survived the past 12 years. We identify Guru by her severely broken tusks. For some reason, not yet clear, the tusks of desert elephants are very brittle and break often. On Sunday morning, the 15th of September, I was observing the herd as I normally do and noticed that Kuru was not present with her mother and sister. I found it a bit strange but thought that she is probably behind some Salvadora persica bushes the dominant species in the riverine vegetation of the Namib Desert. After about 45 minutes, I heard trumpeting and was just in time to see Guru join the herd and she was charging towards her sister Cynthia in an act that I could only interpret as aggression or disgust. Later, she showed the same behavior towards her mother Doris. When she passed by me, I noticed blood on her hind legs, her trunk and some patches on her body and I immediately suspected that she gave birth, but there was no baby in sight. The birth of an elephant calf is a special event and the whole herd is normally involved. Because there was no sign of a baby or a carcass, I later thought the blood on her body could be the result of injuries caused by barbed wire fence that is in the area. Later that afternoon, I saw her again with her family and they showed some behavior that indicated empathy towards her. On Monday morning, with the help of two local goat herdsmen, I found the carcass of the little calf. What played out on Sunday now made perfect sense to me. I realized what the reason was for Kuru not being with the herd. Her baby was probably born in the early hours of Sunday morning but died soon after birth, but she could not leave the body even though it already passed away and the herd started moving on. I also now understand the reason for her aggression towards her sister and her mother the day before. They did not stay with her when she was not yet ready to part with the little being that she carried for 22 months. I saw the area where she gave birth with the whole herd around her. The signs are clear, but I also saw 
a single set of tracks where she dragged and carried him for a little while. Elephants are like us. They also mourn the loss of their loved ones. With the cooperation of ERA and the management of the Brandberg White Lady Lodge, permission from the MEFT was given to transport the carcass to a place where a veterinarian, Dr. Simone Herzog, could do a necropsy and take samples for further tests to try and establish a possible reason for the unusual high calf mortality in the Uchab West area. Though this was a very, very sad experience, I felt privileged again to be able to observe the procedures of the necropsy. Hopefully, the reason for calf mortality can scientifically be established and proactive action taken. As mentioned before, I'm convinced that the lack of diversity in plant material available for these elephants result in a diminished gut microbiome that causes a nutritional deficiency that eventually plays out in high calf mortality. We are currently busy with negotiations to start a project to rehabilitate the natural vegetation in the area and hopefully it will be successful.